In this video, you will learn the basic command line options available for Torres. We will run the bzt command to view the current Torres version installed on your local system. Further, you can navigate to the artifacts directory to view the log file and configuration files that are created by default. In this video, we will explore the Taurus command line options, navigate to artifacts directory, run the bzt command and review the configuration and log files. Taurus is a command line tool and it is executed with the command bzt. So bzt means blaze meter Taurus and uh, this command is to check if the installation is done so it's a command line so bzt hyphen h indicates that it's help so this shows the blaze meter torus version and uh, what are the other options that you can make use of so hyphen h as we have seen now it shows the help of torus you can use minus l to indicate the log file location minus o that is option you can use this multiple times to override the default options in your configuration file and you can also use minus q means quiet which indicates only the error messages and the warnings hyphen v is for verbose which prints all the logging messages to the console minus n indicates it's a skip system and user configuration file that means no system configurations will be used so let's see uh, just by typing bzt it shows the information that is Taurus command line interface tool and the version of it so we have not given any config file that's why it says starting with config and it says there is no configuration file and it is automatically configuring the file and it stores some artifacts in the directory so this directory is mapped to my uh, the folder where I have installed the place meter Taurus tool and you can see that with today's date and time it has created a directory now when we browse this directory that means I give CD this change directory with the name whatever it is showing here and you can type some partial information and then press tab so that it can fill it for you and once you press enter key so you are moved to that directory so now in this directory when you give dir command which lists the directory files and you can see there there are three files one is bzt log which contains the blaze meter log which will help you in debugging the blaze meter uh, torus messages and then you can see effective.json and effective.yaml so this bzt.log we call as torus log which is very detailed and it is a great source for troubleshooting the tool and uh, the effective.json and effective.yaml so those are the configuration files created after applying the defaults and you can also see the shorthand rules any other modification during the execution so all these messages would be saved in this that means it contains the configuration instructions and it shows how yaml is mapped to json notepad bzt dot log and this gets open in the notepad so you can see that so it gives uh, there is no configuration file that we have mapped and it 
looks into various information so this gives that there is no machine configuration directory it shows that means it looks for those files that is where the configuration is mapped the default configuration and then uh, you can see how what is the base config dot yaml file that is the engine configuration you can see various information in this for debugging purpose so we will see this in detail the other two files so this is a uh, effective json file so where you can see the settings check updates uh, check interval verbose aggregator information default executor is jmeter means uh, this is the default executor that will be used and uh, we can also overwrite this instead of jmeter you can use uh, selenium you can use uh, the grinder you can use gotling so there are so many executors available you can see that the default values are set here in the json format and we'll have a look in um, YAML. This is a YAML file. So you can see that the YAML starts with the triple hyphen. And you can see the name value format. So it, you see that uh, the cloud, cloud provisioning is there. Uh, the modules, the function modules, aggregators function console data uh, GUI modules jmeter GUI true so you can see uh, the default normal information for the configuration that it uses can uh, just with so many things you have Android emulator appm okay, uh, capture so there are chrome metric reporters so there are so many processes that we have and we also have blaze meter cloud provisioning module so these are the default uh, configuration files that blaze meter torus uses it. so to execute blaze meter torus we use bzt so thanks for having a look at this video mm -hmm.